Hello, in this uh, tutorial you'll learn how to install a uh, Commander console emulator. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to their website. Just search on Google for console, um, Commander console emulator. C-M-D-E-R. Once you on the website, down, go down and you'll find this link, uh, download full. Click on it. Wait for the file to download. I already have it downloaded, so um, I'm not going to wait for that to finish. Once that is downloaded, browse to your um, download folder. Open your download folder. Here's mine. Uh, I just downloaded it, so I will just do with that one. Unzip it. Zip it anywhere on your computer. I'll zip it right in my download folder. Once it's unzipped, I'm going to look for that folder. In my case, it's this one. Um, I'm going to open it up. going to double click the. Um, executable um, first time I did this uh, I ran into a problem in which I didn't have um, um, I'm going to close it because I'm going to explain this problem it showed up that I was missing a DLL and I found out that I was missing um, Visual C++ distribution for Visual Studios 2015 RC and I needed to download it there and install it so once you're on this website which is the Microsoft Download Center um, look for this um, installation. This um, once you're here, click here on the download. Uh, download your operating system versions, which is mine. It's a 64. Click here, download that. I'm not gonna download it. It's already did. I already installed it too. Once you got that installed, go back to your folder where you have your um, <coughs> commander um, on set. Try to open commander again. It will open and it will display this error. Basically, this error is that um, Windows policies um, is it, it, trying to open a script which it doesn't have, is not allowed by Windows policies, which is restricted and everything needs to be signed. And this is, this script is not. So basically, we need to change those uh, policies. So we're going to close this window. We're going to try to do that right now. Um, to do that, you're going to have to go to this website. Um, First thing you're gonna do, well, you, you're gonna try to uh, run these commands on, on, on the PowerShell. Um, you're gonna copy this command first, which is to show what the um, policies you have on your, on your on your system. To go to the PowerShell, please start all programs, accessories, Windows PowerShell, and you're gonna right click and um, run as administrator the PowerShell of your operating system, which is running on in mine, is 64. So right click, run as administrator, click yes. And I'm going to paste that command uh, that I copied from that website. And it's going to tell me that my, my um, I'm restricted on, on the policies to s in signature. So I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to change that policy to remote si sign. And that command will be set execution policy remote signature sign I'm sorry copy that go back to the PowerShell right click to paste I'm gonna click on enter it's gonna ask me to verify my uh, my change I'm gonna hit enter for the default address which is for the default which is yes and now I'm gonna go back to that website and copy the get execution policies I'm gonna back to PowerShell to find out what my execution policies are and it says that is it's okay now it's remote signature so I'm gonna close PowerShell now Back to my uh, folder where I insert my commander. <coughs> Open my commander. And I ran to another pro problem. This problem is telling me that um, the, f the script that is, uh, that is trying to load is not, um, it's, it, it's on block. I mean, it's block, and you have to ha get it on block. That's the second pr uh, problem that you're gonna you're gonna um, run into. So um, I'm gonna close power, um, the co command the commander um, shell, and the the location of the script is gonna be on Bender, on on the same folder of the commander um, executable, which is right on top. And um, that file that it's asking me to get as on block is uh, profile ps1. I'm gonna right-click profile, and I'm gonna 
sip it or wind water if you have wind water I'm gonna just do a wind water and um, then I'm gonna unsip it and for some reason that uh, unblocks it and uh, there are other ways to unblock it but it didn't work for me and this is the faint the way that I found out how to unblock it so I'm gonna extract it here I'm gonna hit just to uh, replace the the one that was there um, I'm gonna back to commander and I'm going to try to open it and see if it runs okay now there is another er error that is occurring and to fix this error but um, you're gonna right click in commander gonna go to settings and then you're gonna go to a startup and where it says a specification name task which is PowerShell you're gonna change that to CMD you're gonna <coughs> click on save settings and you're gonna close uh, commander again uh, try to open it again one more time and that should be it that's all you need to do to um, fix all the errors that you get from the initialization of commander and how to install commander um, have fun